I was trying to tell Hunter that we did a really hard exercise at F45 today. And it's on a ball. We were at different stations because we got there late. Typical. Uh, but I think I might be able to do it on this chair. Let me show it to you. So it's like this. So you're right, you're just holding yourself up. And then you bring the ball up. And bring it. Oh, it sucks. It sucks. You want to try it? Uh-uh. Okay. My jeans are too tight. <laughs> Mine are really tight, too. <sighs> All right. Furniture delivery day. We it's bought a bunch. I say a bunch. We bought four pieces we from bought a zoo. shop. We bought a zoo. <laughs> no, yeah, we bought zoo a furniture. couple of furniture pieces. We bought a sofa. We're really excited for. Yeah. New dining room table from there. New entryway piece for right there. This actually started to look kind of good. Yeah. It started um, to flow. The beiges and everything. It started to flow with the layers, but yeah, we're excited to get. It's gonna be like so good. That's gonna go down to the media area. Yeah, that's what we're thinking at least right now. Yeah. Um, I thought about putting it in like that nursery room as like a diaper storage area for when we have a baby. I, know. I feel like that'd be kind of cool, but I feel like black is so harsh in a nursery. It is. That's what I'm thinking. Eventually, I think this is perfect downstairs. Mm -hmm. with like board games in it. That's what it's for. The media. Unit. Especially since we're moving that dining room yeah. table downstairs as like our card table. Yeah. They'll like kind of go together. They're the same wood or same. Um, they're the same style, really, huh? Yeah. So they're both going to go downstairs and we'll have a new piece there. We'll show you guys when the pieces come, but we're sh prepping the area. Yep. Um, we hired some movers for a couple hours to help us move all the pieces in. Um, where should we move these? Somewhere? I wonder if we'll end up wanting the new vintage sofa right here. I know. And that over there. We'll have to see what it looks like. I think this is like kind of small, so I think it'll work. We did speak with the rug people. Yes, sir. And we are possibly going to be switching out this rug, but we wanted to see the new furniture in here first before we made that decision. Yeah. Um, but we've already chosen out one or two rugs that they're going to bring by for us tomorrow to okay. try out with the new furniture and like lay on top of this to see like which one we like better. I thought this is going to be like home week. It is. Home um, week. This is going to go up in the guest suite because the ceilings are really high in there. There's like way more space for it and it's just overcrowds this room with the built-ins. It's not right. Agree. Too big. This was our old setup at our last house. We have our RH. Chairs on the wheels, which we like, but they're just going to go downstairs to be like more of the card table. Which is perfect. It's actually. perfect. I love that. Um, and then, oh yeah, when they bring in the new table, we'll bring down our old dining chairs. Because we'll put those there. For now. For the long Because they're taller. Yeah. I think you should take some pictures so you can show like a before and after. I know. Okay, our movers are here. You guys already know we're obsessed with Bolt. So they came back for a few hours to help us move in the new pieces. So we just got, they got this downstairs. So excited. So excited. They're moving the table out. And this. This is the base for our of new table. the new table. Oh my God. We're obsessed. So I saw this like a month and a half ago. And yeah. I wasn't sold on. You actually, you, well, you had your mind made up on like a, a long over. I did. I think that's why. I and this is more like a rectangle. I mean, it is a rectangle. And I love, these to me felt like very Spanish. And yeah. And I was afraid they looked. Like, uh, Hansel and Gretel. Like gingerbread. Gingerbread. Or medieval. But uh, I totally I think changed my mind like now. Spanish, especially with like once. Yeah, it de you have to balance it with the right things, but I love them. I and it changed the look of this whole room because now the black is gone. Totally. It's almost light enough, even though it's still it like is. darker wood. It is. I mean, that'll be the piece, like the bow in between the two. But it's just like, there's nothing like it. It's you like, just can't replicate that. You can't. It's like pretty primitive. She's perfect. Oh, that just completed my life. That table alone was just like what this needed. Can you just tell the difference? The vintage, you guys, can you tell? Can you tell? It just is it. It yeah. changes the whole room. Changes the whole room. I'm gonna do a gallery wall there. It's gonna be perfect and we're gonna change that light fixture and it will totally change it, but it I, looks I kinda so think we take the light fixture away. Yeah, I do too. All together. I think we just do like a flush mount maybe. Yeah. If that. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't really need it because it's like boom, boom, boom. I think that would look so good right there. Yeah. It would create that whole vibe out there. Mm hmm totally. It actually isn't bad. It's just not like my uh, favorite. But we're going to change this light to our, yeah. our restoration hardware. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if y'all saw my uh, office renovation. We had that, I had a big gold light that we added to my office at the last house. Yeah. We have that same light, but in black. black. It's and kind of like this, but a bigger version. We bought it for our master bedroom renovation, but then when we realized or decided to move, we were like, let's just save it. And it's still in the box. So it's gonna so go there. This sheep will go. The sheep. Oh, I thought they said goat hair. Start. Goat? What? Wow. We're thinking the rug actually works. The rug works <laughs> now with this. Oh boy. It really does. It like ties it in almost, Hunter. I know. Oh shoot. Well, that's why it was a good first like wait. And we still really like, like once we Oh my god, it looks amazing. It looks good. It just like made the house, Hunter. Oh my god. Shoot, I want a table like ASAP for right there. And then and then we just need a smaller um coffee table. This couch actually now kind of is working. We thought maybe we need a bigger one, but, and then we're gonna do two chairs here. And once we have a coffee table that's about half the size, it's gonna be perfect. Oh, that's so good. It looks so good. Uh, we could do a <gasps> I foot mean, on the, on the couch. I know, I think so too. We could. Yeah. All right, so here's the new entryway piece. It's more of like a darker wood. Such a beautiful piece. Beautiful. And we're just throwing some stuff up on there for now. But it's coming together. Love that. Oh, Love that, that is just like everything. It's not looking right because the stupid coffee table is I know. It. Julia's piece looks amazing. So excited How beautiful is that? It's made it really, I mean, really pretty. Right? But the only thing is that, do you think I should? It's actually kind of cute like this. I'm gonna get a different mirror anyways. I think you put that mirror above it. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Your, ta your tape just came off. <laughs> it looks really good. Like a couple things. Oh my God, the vintage is just like. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one there for a second. There's nothing like it. We I can get different books because I need those for my yeah. desk. Yeah. It's what I'm going for. Oh, so happy with that. Well, we got to style all the pieces. I mean, it's a whole nother, me whole nother thing for a whole nother day. Okay, we literally just got done rearranging <laughs> everything. Now, disclaimer, this is not how it's going to be. So before you comment saying I feel like keep having this how you're going to change it. Oh, you should try this. this these aren't staying here. Coffee table, we gotta get new. Not here. These are table, we're not staying here. That is temporary. That's temporary. We're wanting to do something like that, so we're using that as like a, a sample. Placeholder. We put these in as placeholders so we can get the idea of what we want. But um, do you starting to see the layout now? I think a lot of you guys didn't get the vision. You're hating on our couch when we got it. It's because you didn't know. Um, so hopefully now you're able to see it if you didn't have the vision. And it looks so cozy. I love it. I actually like, and then I try to pull in um, pink through like little accents in the pillow. So actually the magazine. carpet is starting to work now in the magazine. Looks good, right? Those little tie-ins really help. Part of me likes the rug still, but part of me wants to uh, Same, I don't know. I know. So that's I don't what's know what nice to do. This, gonna bring, um, this gives it some depth because I'm worried it's going to start to be flat. With they're going to bring like, in the other two rugs that we like. Yeah. So we're gonna like lay them on top to see if it works better. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if it will. We were debating about this sofa. Uh, we were gonna do two chairs in the same fabric. Yeah. Nubby and chunky um, chairs. But then we saw the sofa and we were like, that's really actually, cool. Actually, we didn't even see the sofa. We were like, I wonder if they even make a sofa. Yeah, like sense. in our head, we were like, oh yeah. And then the guy who had the two chairs, he's an antique dealer. The guy who had the two chairs, I texted him. I was like, hey, do y'all have a chance? Like, do y'all by chance, ever see these sofas come through. He's like, 
not too often, but I'm getting one come, like, I'm having one come in the next, like, two or three weeks. Yeah. And so we've been waiting to see what it looked like, and we went in and jumped on it. So it's super unique, and, um, yeah, one of a kind. So, um, so, so are all the pieces that we got, unfortunately. So you guys know we're into antiques, and I, sorry, I can't link them. They're, you know, one of a kind pieces, but we encourage you to shop vintage antique whenever you can because it really just like adds so much character to your house. So I think it looks so much better. Now, the table that was up there, old dining table is down here in this nook. And we're gonna use this as like a gaming table um, for like board games when guests come over because this is kind of like the chill spot with the couch. The plan eventually is for us to do a built-in built like booth, booth. Kind of like a cozy booth. Where yeah. Have like a dim, dimmed lights. Um, and like a booth with a table, almost like you're in like a restaurant booth. Totally. But that's going to be like the gaming table. For like cards and like, yeah. Like kind of step up kind of thing. Be so cool. But that's there. We brought the uh, buffet down yep, here. Yeah, exactly. This will hold like our board games and movies. Remotes, and movies, yeah. cords, you know, all that stuff for a media room. But that's going to be um, perfect spot for the dartboard, I think, right there. Or right yeah. there. Yeah, I kind of think, well... Right here would be nice. I don't know if you're, watching, you're TV. watching a movie and you're wanting to like do True. it. True. Or do you want that or, to be away from the movie? I know. I don't know. Especially I actually think it might look better right there. Like right here. I know. We're also thinking of hopefully at Round Top we find a find vintage, vintage bar. A vintage bar right here. Well, because what else? I mean, honestly, like kind of, they kind of set it up as if you were going to build a bar and then they never built it. Do you, you know, know what I'm what saying? Is, like, common for like media rooms, like a little, just a bar like this. Yeah, like a kitchenette. But we're thinking of doing a bar right here. Right here. Where there could be you know, like walk through. Yeah. And then it's like an entertainment bar. Yeah. Something uh, obviously the, antique. Our bars up in the garage are actually a perfect size, but they're just not the aesthetic. So we no. want to find the antique piece that like makes the room. Yeah. Oh, we should have had them. We could have had them bring down one temporarily. We're wanting to make this room almost not like a speakeasy because there's like a movie room but more like dark dim vibes yeah like kind of like kind of like a speak like this area would be like more like a speakeasy the car table like the yeah table. we wanted to feel like you're yeah. coming here for an experience you get a drink you're playing a game you're watching a movie like we haven't really had an idea for down here but then it kind of hit us the other night and we were like that's what we gotta do yeah. maybe get a pool table maybe yeah, I don't know. I'm not like a pool person. So what else can you get to fill out, in the spot? It's cool pool table. I just don't think that like you don't want a movie room with like a pool table. Like it's so loud. Yeah. Well, what else can you get to fill it? Or else you just put like a dining table here. Like what are we gonna do? We gotta figure something out. Yeah. Well, it'll come to us eventually. Just yeah. like the um, just like the speakeasy concept came to us. We're like, okay. Yeah. Well, it's funny because at the other property that we were renovating in Texas when we did the floor plans on yeah. the house, we were building a speakeasy underground, which is, I know. would have been kind of cool. That would have been cool. Um, but we got it still anyways. So This is looking good. And actually it's coming really in handy. Like all of our uh, furniture that we had that doesn't really fit it's up like there is yeah. fitting down here and it all goes together. So it's really nice. Um, okay, cool. Well, I'm very happy. And to be continued. By the way, I want the the vibe yeah. down there to start like right when you right enter when this door. And so I would love to have it if like we could like rock this in some Well, I know you know I just came to mind was like brick. Like almost like you're going into the cellar totally. I don't know if that's like someday but it's kind of like a waste of money probably. It is. <laughs> it would make the whole vibe come together. Definitely. Obviously new light, but almost like dark. Yeah. Like you come in You're going like underground like, kind yeah. of. I I totally know what you're saying. So. Okay. We are rushing off to a F45 class. We were on the wait list and we just got into the class. So we're hurrying so we can go make a workout because we didn't work out all weekend. So we're gonna go do that now. Alrighty, let's go. F45, come on, babe. Back again like flu season. I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming now. My roof leaving. Don't give a f I don't care. Uh, did the for my lonesome. No wonder now I'm on one. No shortcuts on that long run. All I really want is my share. Uh, get him, I got him, I told him it's nothing. In the discussion, all them feelings I throw on my pain on percussion. The disgusting. I hear them bragging about that they did and they do not move me, not in the least. They ain't been dropping. I love that one. I love the one where you jump a lot. It's my favorite. I like jumping. I hate weights, but I like jumping. We did it. You don't mind the jumps? I don't fun. like, uh, 
Like all the things we have to like, you're like a the plank and you're like jumping your feet through. I know. Oh, that's good for you. It's like a really big like. Uh, there's a lot of core in that more than you think. A lot of core. Ooh. Lots of planks, shoot throughs, elbow touches. Yeah. Oh, for some reason, every night my IUD starts to just pinch on the left side. Really? Every night. Mm -hmm. I think we should go get that checked. Mm -hmm. ASAP. Mm -hmm. I should do that right now before I forget. Just book an appointment. I know. Okay, we're home. First dinner on the new table. Hunter is editing vlog. Um, and we got some takeout from Kalamata's. It is a Greek place and they have the best Greek salad. We get grilled vegetables on top and then, oh my God, sorry, I look like a wreck. Um, and we add falafel and we got a side of hummus. Um, and it is so good. So we need to get some refresh on our groceries. So we did takeout tonight, but um, the house is already feeling so much cozier even with like the wood. It just like needed the coziness really bringing it together so I'm so excited but now my wheels are spinning like the next things that need to be changed and everything so um yeah I'm already like okay what needs to change next and this is how my brain works whenever we get furniture I think about design just like races and things of all the possibilities so okay I just took a shower and Hunter is still working on the vlog so I'm going to attempt to make a fire by myself I need where's the torch Actually, I think it's over there. Um, so I've, oh yeah, there's. I stacked some logs in a TP position. Here we go. And he always tells me that you need these little thingies underneath the TP to make it light. So here. Det var första gången vi möttes Våra blickar bara möttes Kommer du ihåg det igen? Kommer du ihåg det igen? Du vill ha ice and little fingers Då du vet det fallas All in and a brown spot Mat på din vänster här What's up you guys? The next day, I'm eating Whole Foods tortilla chips. They're so good. Mm, by the way, the tortilla chips from the actual like bakery section of Whole Foods, like they make them there. And they are literally the crunchiest chips I've ever had and I love a good crunch. I'm telling you, there's not a bagged tortilla chip that you can get that is, that is as crunchy as this and they are next level so if they make them in your bakery you need to try them out they're so good um today we might be switching out this rug so a rug man is coming with some other options because he's told me that if i freaked out when he came in he would bring new options and we could test them out to see if we like them better he is so sweet best customer service ever Nashville fine rugs. Um, if you want any vintage rugs, he's like, I just like can't even say enough good things about the service. I've never really experienced anything like it.
Okay. Well, Mead brought some runners, and oh, we're gonna do the pink one. No, you yeah, You've yeah, been yeah, trying yeah. to decide between. Thank you, though. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Oh, that looks so pretty. It's lovely. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, it's really good. It feels like it feels like this one, but softened. Looks great. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, and I think we decided on the pink. On the pink. Yes, yeah. we love so the, the pink. The one you chose out was really it's good. Exactly our color palette. <laughs> Let's give it a little bit of spice. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Spice and also uh, it almost pulls more vintage in a way because it has like the color that's faded or worn yeah. or something like that. But okay. This one is beautiful. Yeah, they're both really nice. Yeah? It's a good entry. It's really nice. It makes the entryway. Good. good. I think good. it ties in nicely with this too. Mm -hmm. Also, I will send the padding for this one with okay. the guys in the day. Okay. okay, great. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Amit. You're one of our guys. You too. Darn. All right, so Amid just left, and he's oh. awesome, by the way. Him I and his whole they, staff are so amazing. They're so nice. I think I hope we got some of the audio, so you guys see how cute he is. Yeah, he's, the he's like he's the sweetest guy ever. Um, but we liked a couple of ones he brought actually. We had saw these in store, and there was three of them in store that we liked, and he brought them all over and let us like lay them out and try them. And this is the one we like the most, as it still has like those same colors as the last one. Yeah. But just muted a little bit more. Totally. Well, what I like about him too, which is nice when you're buying a vintage rug, it's so expensive that you kind of get, like it's really intense. You get worried about it, you want to try it. So the fact that he's like so flexible and it was just mm -hmm. like, we just swap it out. We'll bring, he brings it to our house and like we'll roll them out. It's so nice. <laughs> I know. You know? Really this looks good. This is definitely like, it's our color palette. It's like our yeah. style, but, but still, still like risky box. and outside of the box. And Agreed. it's just, it's just great. Agreed. And I have one so. pillow. See that palette? Look at this actually. I got this. And look at that. That's good. Come on. It makes the grays look blue. Right? Okay. It's really okay. freaking good. It really softens our couch too a lot because if you can tell the couch is like more of a beige but against the hard blue it pulls yellow and that's the color of the sheep it's oh. sheepskin no I like I like it I think if it was white it would look it's m more of a chance for cheapy this is like the true like vintage right but, totally yeah because really the blue is just a little bit more muted and there's less of it exactly so and it's a more of a warm blue like the other blue is really cool mm -hmm. like a cobalt or real blue and i like the peachiness of this one too, Me too. I love peach. it changes like the look of the room i think we like warm blue. all right let's do this are we looking all the way uh, i'll get it don't hurt you sure yeah so good. I love it. I mean, honestly, the gray chairs kind of actually work. I mean, I'm not obsessed with them, but like, no. they're not bad. We'll find something different. I know. <laughs> they work though. The, the, as long as you've been like kind of a neutral rug, you're good. <gasps> I'm not liking it. Those looks seem so messy. What do? The plant. No, that's the, that's the plant. I know. It just looks messy in pictures. The color of this is now finally being pulled out, the natural color. Oh, looks so good. <laughs>